They watching us. They watching us. Everybody in the club. All eyes on us. All eyes on us. All eyes on us. I wanna scream and shout and let it all out. And scream and shout and let it out. We saying oh we are, we are, we are. We saying oh we are, we are, we are. I wanna scream and shout and let it all out. And scream and shout and let it out. We saying oh we are, we are, we are. You are now, now rocking with. Well, I am in Guys, you need to stop goofing around. On behalf of WCVH, this is CV Today. Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, May 15th. Now over to Mario with some more announcements. Thanks. The quote of the day is, Don't cry because it is all over. Smile because it happened. By Dr. Seuss. The trait of the month is trustworthy. Today's lunch is a main meal of buckskin bowl and a hot combo of chicken filet sandwich. Tomorrow's lunch is a main meal of calzone with a hot combo of Subway. Now over to your weather report. It could be a day for a sweater or wind stronger than leather. For all your daily news, here's Matt with the weather. Did you all see yours? Yeah, Jake, I think we gotta start filming. I haven't seen Matt. Well, I don't know whether or not he's gonna be here. <laughs> hey guys, so as you can tell, it's going to be a beautiful 69 degrees outside, nice and sunny right now, but later tonight it's going to be a rainy story. We're going to have a high of 88 today, a low of 62, and for tomorrow we're going to have a high of 65, a low of 57, and it's going to be raining all day, it's going to kind of suck, but now we're going to have my news. A river of red-hot lava rolls toward the Pacific Ocean. The Kilauea volcano in Hawaii is lobbing balls of magna called spatter bombs hundreds of feet into the air. The first thing that I noticed was I heard what sounded like a jet turbine. It's almost like your life is on hold. State officials say lava from the volcano has already destroyed dozens of structures and vehicles. And there's no signs of things slowing down anytime soon. We have a situation in Fisher 17 that um, the lava is moving about 100 yards per hour. Close to 2,000 people have been forced to evacuate. Lawmakers say it could be months before they can go back home. Still now I'm surprisingly calm even though it's really close to my house. I'm feeling just a lot of love and hope that my house will be okay. The governor's office says it will cost about three million dollars to protect residents over the next month. Out of all of this destruction comes birth and, and new land and you know people's attitudes shift. They're more grateful and that you know they appreciate being here more. It's Madam Pelly's land. She can do anything she wants to do. She was here long before we were. I'm Sophia Steed. Reporting. Attention all students that are either turning 16 in the next few months or are older. Our driver's education courses are currently having open enrollment from now through Monday, May 21st. Please see Mrs. Young in the attendance office for information on enrolling. The next open enrollment period will be the first three weeks of the 2018-2019 school year. Attention all TSA members and any students who have taken a tech ed class this year. On Friday, May 25th, we will have the we will be having the annual Tech Ed TSA picnic during all four lunches. If you took any Tech Ed class this year or you are a member of TSA, you are eligible to attend. If you have A's in three or more of your Tech Ed classes and nothing lower than a B, you may receive a VIP ticket. Ooh. If you had lower than 70% in any Tech Ed class or are on the social probation list, you will not receive a ticket. Please see Mr. Thomas in room 156 next today through next Wednesday to get your ticket for your lunch period. If you do not have a ticket, you will not get in. Tickets will only be available until the end of the day, Wednesday, May 16th. That will over to an announcement from Tri-M. Hi, we're here representing Tri-M, and tomorrow, Wednesday, May 16th, there is a spring open mic night um, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. It'll be, it was originally planned for the courtyard, but due to weather issues, it'll be in the LGI, so we're still having it. Um, you can enter, still enter through the district office doors. It'll be in the LGI, it'll be a lot of fun. There'll be concessions there. 
So if you don't know what an open mic night is, which I'm sure you all do, um, you can just come in and you can sing or you can show any poetry or art that you have that you just want to show at the coffee house. And it's just a night that all of us can just gather. Even if you don't want to share anything, you guys can just hang out and watch the performances and just hang out with your friends. So it is going to be a really, really fun night and you guys should definitely come out. Thanks, CV. Anthony Lee, Taylor. Tardif, you know. Lindsay Nedro, Jordan Byler. Please come see Mr. Thomas ASAP to decode on TSA events for the National Conference. Attention all current junior who is planning on taking AP Literature next year. There will be a meeting at 7.15 a.m. on Wednesday, May 22nd in room 103 to discuss summer assignments. Email Mr. Shank if you are not available to make it. Seniors, Meridian Products in high, in high and Cabinet Component Manufacturer. They are looking for full-time, part-time, and summer help for multiple positions. If you are interested, please apply in person or preferably online. For more information, please check the bulletin board outside the guidance office. Attention students, teachers, and faculty. Hershey Park's job fair will be held on today from 3 to 7 p.m. Hershey Park is seeking flexible, seasonable positions. They are also excited to announce that they have several internship opportunities for students age 16 and up. All applicants will have the ability to ride in the park. They will be operating Fahrenheit and the CLAW only. If you are an energetic, ambitious person looking for a full-time or part-time position, Spring Glen Fresh Foods is for you. A job fair is being held at Spring Glen Fresh Foods on Friday, June 8th from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday, June 9th from 9 a.m. till 12 p.m. at 314 Spring Glen Drive, Effort of PA. On-site interviews will be held. You must be 18 years of age. For more information, check out their flyer hanging outside the guidance office. Attention juniors taking AP U.S. Government and Politics next year. There will be a meeting for all students taking AP government next year today during FLEX in room 220. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Helm. Again, a meeting next Tuesday during FLEX for any student taking AP government next year. Attention all seniors, you will receive an email with a link to prompt king and queen ballot on Wednesday. Voting will take place from Wednesday until Friday morning. Be sure to be logged into your CV Google account in order to vote. Please review the entire ballot before voting as it is lengthy. You may vote for three girls and three boys. Prom king and queen will be crowned on prom night. There will be a meeting for all boys basketball players in room 229 during flex today to discuss the summer schedule. It is your responsibility to obtain the information. If, you're un if you are unable to attend due to academic obligations, there is going to be a meeting for the new fishing club today during flex in Mr. Kerr's room. Anyone interested in fishing is welcome to come. Please see Mr. Care for a pass. Now over to CV Sports. will be held on Friday, June 1st from 4 to 9 p.m. in the Real Gym. Be there. Forms are available in the main office. If you do not attend the sports physicals here, you must still pick up a form in the main office before you go to your own doctor. See Mrs. Hess if you have any questions. We have no sports reach today. Now over to sports highlights. Features once again Steve Kerr going with the small unit known these days as uh, the Hamptons 5, Kevin Durant along with his Ms. Moody defending on Paul. A lot of dribbling here by Paul. Goes to the fade and hits. Terrific mid-range shooter. The yep. question is, can he get into the heads of Golden State? Oh, Curry to the left, able to hit. Once again, it's Rooney, no problem for him. Just like that. He baits him by making a three. Durant being played by Capella. Pulls it back. Now goes at him. And hits. Well, at least Kevin Durant is not discriminating. Golden State with a six-point lead. Curry with the steal. Harden trying to get it back. Curry leads Iguodala. And he stops. 
Here's Iguodala looking for Cole McShay. Here's Hodge with the layup. Looking for a backcourt violation. But that's Houston's fault. Nobody from Houston got back past half court on that defensive play. Thompson wide open for three. Two players on the bench combined for 21. And so Houston, are you going to get that bench involved in next time as well? Curry would not allow Harden to take the shot. And that'll do it. Warriors win at 119-106. announcements we have for you today. On behalf of WCVH, I'm Thomas. Also, I'm Melissa. And I'm Thomas. And this is CV Today. Have a Tommy Larkin Tuesday. I've been losing myself lately. You got me thinking maybe I got potential.